Hi guys and welcome back to my channel At Home With Shell. Today I will be sharing with you my weekly kitchen clean. I'll be showing you how I clean everything from the hob and sink to descaling the kettle and mopping the floors. I generally do my kitchen clean on a Friday night as I like to start my weekend off with a nice clean kitchen. I hope you enjoy this video and it either gives you some tips or motivation to also clean yours. If you do like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel I do it quite a bit of cleaning content so would love for you to subscribe. So this is what the kitchen currently looks like. I've packed up most things from dinner um, but this is what it's left in so it's not too bad. Um, it's just a bit messy I suppose, a few bits need packing away um, but honestly it just needs a really good clean. So if some of you have followed me for a while then you know I have my cleaning schedule. Um, I'll link this link to this down below and it is also on my website. I have my weekly tasks, so everything here that I've already completed this week and then I still have the kitchen to do um, and the playroom. So I'm going to do the kitchen first. I generally like to do that on a Friday evening and then I also have my master list here. So you can see these are all the weekly. So these tasks are what I do every single day and then these are things that I do every single week and then I normally pick a couple of monthly tasks off there too. The first thing that I do is to load the dishwasher and then wash up anything that can't go in the dishwasher but thankfully tonight there's not that much to do. This corner can often become a bit of a mess where everyone ends up dumping things behind and on top of the bread bin so I need to sort this out first and then empty the bin and give it a good clean before restocking it. Next on my list is to clean the toaster as items like this can often be forgotten about when cleaning your kitchen appliances. So most toasters have a part underneath that you can just remove that houses all of the crumbs and then I'll just pop the crumbs into the bin and then just wash the bits. Whilst I get on with cleaning the kitchen, I'm going to get the microwave cleaned and the easiest way to do this is to slice a lemon in half and place in a heat proof bowl filled with water, then place it in the microwave on full power for five minutes. Next I need to descale the kettle and again it's lemons to the rescue. I simply pour some lemon juice which cost me around 30p over the base of the kettle and leave it to work its magic for around 10 minutes.
Meanwhile, my coffee machine needs a thorough clean as it does get used a lot. My dishwasher is fairly empty tonight so I can place the main tree in main tray in there and then I will wash the rest by hand. The microwave is now done and the lemon and the water together create a steam in the microwave that makes it super easy to wipe away grime and grease and it also makes it smell really nice. I will then generally reuse the lemons and pop them into the dishwasher before I put that on. I then move on to clean the cupboards. This is normally something that I do every week but haven't done it for a couple of weeks as I've just been so busy and I honestly can't believe how dirty they were. It makes such a difference doing this regularly. I use my eco-friendly multi-purpose cleaner that I got from Purdy and Fig which I absolutely love as not only is it great for the environment but it smells fantastic and I can use it on any surface without worrying that I will ruin it. I do have a link for £10 off your first order so we'll put that link in the description box down below if anyone is interested. With the cupboards given a good clean and looking nice and fresh, my next job is the hob. 
Now initially I use Sif cream cleaner and a minky cloth to remove most of the dirt. I then finish off with Method Stainless Steel Cleaner to give it a nice shine. Whilst the bread bin, toaster and coffee machine have been cleaned, I need to clean all of the crumbs off the side and I'll be using my trusted mini dustpan and brush which I have mentioned many times on my channel which is absolutely amazing for just scooping those crumbs into the dustpan itself and again I will link this down below. I do think it's really important to actually pull out appliances from time to time and clean behind them as doing daily cleans just doesn't involve that and really get behind them. Bread bin cleaned and refreshed, I need to refill it and put it back nice and organised. I do need to obviously clean the kitchen sink but before doing that I'm just going to wipe down the window seals again using my Purdy and Fig multi-purpose cleaner. Again, like the hob, I finish off with method stainless steel and buff to a nice shine.
kitchen side's all done, I'll give the utility a wipe down and I have to say that since I recently decluttered and organised in here, it's actually stayed quite clean. I feel like I'm starting to get somewhere now. The kitchen looks really clean now. And I always think that actually giving the kitchen a really good clean always takes me so much longer than I plan, especially when I'm also filming it. My sofa in the kitchen also ends up a bit of a dumping ground, especially towards the end of the week, so I need to give that a good clear. We are almost there and for reference I use the Shark Cordless Vacuum which is great and often on quite a good deal so we'll link it in the description box down below. I also use the Shark Steam Mop which is honestly the best steam mop I've ever used and if you flip it over it gives a shot of super steam to any harder to remove stains which is such a fantastic feature. The last thing that I do is soak my cloths in a disinfectant. I normally use the Flora, but recently I've been trying this new Astonish disinfectant. I just simply pour a couple of capsules over the cloth with some boiling water and leave that to soak overnight. And there we have it, my Friday night kitchen clean done. You can see it looks so much better in here now and there is honestly nothing better than coming down on a Saturday morning to a lovely clean kitchen. I know it might seem a bit strange doing it on a Friday night and especially considering I finished so late but it's honestly such a good feeling to start off the weekend knowing that you don't have any kitchen cleaning to do. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and hopefully I will see you again next time. Thanks very much for watching, bye!